Let's talk about Trump for a second, because here, what, what, as a character, I, he's one, one of these people that I have attempted to see good parts of. I've attempted to see any redeeming character there. Now, he is occasionally funny, sometimes not intending to be, but sometimes intending to be, even though he doesn't seem to laugh himself very much, certainly not anybody else's jokes. I'm just going to challenge you to bring your moral complexity to Trump. What is, how do you, because obviously there is something about this guy that has, that has achieved, first of all, this extraordinary initial election, but then to actually have survived the last three years and to now be essentially the front runner for the next president as the next president, which he is, I think. That tells you that there must be a more complicated story about this guy than we are allowing ourselves to. What is what is what well, do you I think wonder, about that? I mean, I wonder if he really is that complex because, in some ways, he's a hollow man. I mean, there is no there there. He's a shrewd man, and he and and he has the talent of a very good con man. In that he, one of the things that, and this is you know what the three characters I, I wrote about in in my book, one of the things they have in common that a good con man or woman has a very fine feeling, are very sensitive to what people want to hear. I mean, there were wonderful, well, wonderful is not the word, there are extraordinary interviews with serial killers that you can see on YouTube. And I remember one, Jeffrey Dahmer, one of those horrible psychopaths, and he's being interviewed by a sort of well-meaning, boring pastor of some Protestant church. And you could see the serial killer sort of sizing him up and then telling him exactly what he wants to hear, how the problem with modern society is the lack of faith and this is what creates evil and so on and so forth. This is what a con man is good at. And Trump has a very sure feeling for the people that get excited about him. I mean, and, and, and of course, cult leaders are good at this because cult leaders are essentially con men who can manipulate an audience into worshipping and and putting all their hopes in you and but i don't think there's anything i don't think there's anything very much behind the facade i mean the, behind the act behind the performance in the end like like all con men i mean he's out uh, he's he's trying all the angles to 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 you know to make a buck and he's a hustler a huckster and most hucksters are not especially complex human beings i mean if there were some smidgen of something that he seems to really believe in or something like that, he would be more interesting as a human being. I think he's interesting as a con man, but I don't think he's a very com complex being because complexity also suggests paradoxes, contradictions, tensions, and so on. A, a man who's always performing, there are no tensions. That's what you see is what you get. 